spark plugs today, but it just started raining. So this video is probably gonna have to wait for another day. But before we go, I do wanna say I peeped. I don't know if maybe my videos are boring, or maybe I'm not doing something right, but let me know what's going on. Most of you guys that are watching aren't even subscribed, and the ones that are subscribed, you guys don't really like or comment or do anything. Just let me know what I can do to be more engaging for you guys. I don't want to be that boring YouTuber that you just watch when you're having a bowl of cereal on Sunday, you know what I mean? On another note, got myself a new up pipe, well, new to me. The other one, as you guys remember, had bolts that were seized in there and I would have had to drill them out and honestly I didn't want to have to deal with that. And also this one came with a bung for an external wastegate so we're going to make a lot of noises and hopefully start making a lot of noises. Oh, it is coming down now. Yeah, this is a video for another day, guys. I guess Mother Nature wants me to work on my car today. So, as I said in the beginning, I just got myself some NGKs, uh, radium spark plugs, kind of start doing some more preventative maintenance while I tackle the body work and everything else. I forgot to mention, I also put on the uh, parent short ram intake like a day after I made the downpipe video, so there you go. It was a pretty easy install. You literally just take off the old intake box and just put the inlet on. Okay, so normally, to get to your coil packs, which is where your spark plugs are, you have to take off the stock intake box, but I'm pretty sure that because I have this on, I can kind of just work around it and hopefully get down. Yeah, no, I can't. It still has to come off. All right. Anyways, the driver's side has a little bit more work to do, but it's really not that deep. Just move the windshield wiper reservoir out of the way and then just take out your battery. I'm going to start getting everything out now, and my buddy David's going to come by. He's going to actually uh, just lend me his spark plug socket because I don't have one, surprisingly. In the meantime, yeah, we'll just get everything off. You just take out the battery, move the uh, windshield wiper reservoir, and uh, your coil packs are gonna be right there where my finger is. This is the front one, and this one right here is the back one. So you just wanna unscrew this bolt right here, which I believe is a 14 millimeter. Okay, so there's the coil pack right there, and there's the 14 millimeter bolt you're gonna wanna take out. Just remember the orientation of when you're taking these off. For my car, it's white connector in the front, and then you'll see black connector in the back. Same for both sides. The only reason I bring that up is because I remember one time when I took my car to a shop back when I first got it, I had them do something on the motor. They took the coil packs out, put them back in. I got my car back and it was misfiring and I couldn't figure out why. I literally looked and realized, oh, my coil packs were in the wrong orientation. And they told me it doesn't matter what orientation your, your coil packs are in. For Subarus, it matters. go look right in there oh if it'll focus that is the spark plug boom yo Ooh. what's going on buddy he just broke my gun now i was trying to take okay. oh hey there you go that's it wow i thought it was gonna break in there wait let me knock on air because you know that was only the first one we still got three more oh, hold up. oh wait 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 yeah i got that yay it doesn't look that bad does it yeah. So how can you tell We're if it's in decays though, at least. So if it's if it's if it's black, right? That means I'm running rich. Yeah. All right. I mean that looks pretty normal. Facts, but it's gonna feel way better. In deep into the safari jungle, the WRX EJ205 motor. <laughs> you will find what is busted spark plug. Yummy rust. Yeah, that's kind of kind of gross. Yeah, you gotta replace those. But, Get some ice in there. Oh, and it's also kind of white, which means I'm lean or rich. Lean, if it's a little like whitish, but it's not. Yeah, it's a little more like rich and old than lean and crusty. All right, so then I shouldn't have to worry. Nah. All right. That's under three, four, one and two. One, two, three, four. Pretty sure. But he just got under three out. Yep, and this is the last one that we have to take out because we got the other one uh, cylinder four in the back, right? Mm -hmm. We got both those on the driver's side. Yeah, everything came out pretty easy, um, which is actually a first for me. Normally, whenever I do anything on this car, something happens, and I'm like, no, it has to wait a week. I told you it was easy. <laughs> I was just getting the right tools. Ah, yay! It looks like shit. It does look like shit. This, all right, so both of the ones on the passenger side were a lot more white than the ones on the driver's side. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means you need new spark plugs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a tune. 
time to put the new ones in. I'll show you guys what those look like in a second so you can actually see the difference of what a bad spark plug looks like and what a good spark plug looks like. This isn't a spark plug. It's not terrible, terrible. The gap doesn't look like it's changed too much and there's not like any corrosion or anything on it. But compared to the literal brand new one, Bro, I just forgot what these squares are for, and now I love it. Because I'm like, why is this shit not focusing? But then I'm like, oh, it's not in the square. Oh, he's talking about the grid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's but what yeah. that's for. So we're going to throw these back in now, start it up, and um, hopefully all goes well. Bet. Both sides are in. New spark plugs are in. We're just tightening down everything, making sure that we didn't miss anything. And we're going to start it up, and hopefully it should just run fine. If anything is wrong, it should pop up with a check engine light. Don't I need that? I mean, what do you mean? I mean, that's the battery tie down. Okay. They won't mind, bro. I just wanted to hear my car. Again. It's way worse. It's like the pedal doesn't. Like I said, like it's. My turn, my turn, my turn. Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Bro, I definitely left a 14 wrench in here. When did you even put that in there? I don't even remember. I mean, I, we didn't even use this. No, we so I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is it in there? I don't know, but I'm glad we found that because I was going to stress me out. Alright, we're going to take it for a quick little drive. Make sure, make sure, like, no lights pop up. And, uh, good. Bet. Yeah. What I'm monitoring on the access port is boost. Cooling temp right now. I'm probably gonna change that in a little bit. Uh, the dam, so that shot back up the moment we did these spark plugs, so I think that's a good thing. AFRs are good. My wastegate duty, I'm just checking that because I'm on low wastegate right now, and I was just curious to see what it actually opened up at. Mm -hmm. And also feedback knock, which normally stays at 211, sometimes it goes to 411, but like- Don't worry, mine is worse. Mine goes what? up to, mine's went up to 11 before, and I don't really 11? Care. As long as I don't physically hear it, and I put oil in there, I'm fine. Oh my God. Sluggish. No, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, yep, it's like, it's like time. hard to explain. Yeah, it's like before you would uh, you would hit the pedal and it was a little bit laggy to get on it. But it's like the moment I put these in, it's like very uh, yeah, it's like super peppy. Sorry, old guy, I didn't mean to scare you. So yeah, guys, we're definitely gonna go with we're definitely gonna go with uh, Tomei unequal length tires because like I think those are gonna sound really nice. Facts. That's However, that's broke the neck. <laughs> Once I decide to actually make more power and like make it not uh, make it less of a street car, more of a weekend track car, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with equal length. How did it feel? It feel good? No, yeah, it, no check engine light. It drove fine. It hit boost. Yeah, it hit it hit boost like pretty nice. Yeah, it feels good. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It was a little bit less on the informative side, more on the hey, watch what I'm doing today side. So um, yeah, comment, like, and definitely subscribe. Like I said in the beginning, most of y'all aren't even subbed, and I don't know why. So uh, hit that red button so I so I can keep making more videos for y'all. Peace out, and I'll see y'all on the next one. That looks gas. Stop being creepy. <laughs> <laughs>